Let's draw some insanely stupid cars. This is gonna be great. Hello everybody, I'm Kylie Keen and welcome to the car drawing game. The title is very descriptive. We're drawing cars and we're hoping that they can get across very treacherous gaps. As you can see this level, surprise! We have to jump over that like little green square. Also, I think that like shiny glowing thing in the very center, I think that's like a speed boost. So obviously we need to design a vehicle that is good for doing that. What kind of vehicle would be good for getting over that jump? A giant circle. <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad. <laughs> It looks like an Airstream. You know, those like big silver camper things? Or a potato with wheels. Yeah, that didn't work. So what if I make something that's like super, like, like thin, like that? Oh, it's like a, it's like a speed car. That's, that's, okay, that was actually pretty good. I wanna know though, if I draw something like a little bit smaller, do you think that it gets more speed and will launch up and over? That, okay, that was, Interesting. We just did a wheelie the whole way there. What if I just draw a line? <laughs> this is this is not a car. This is just two wheels. Either way, um, we didn't get the cool speed boost up at the top, but we did win. So let's move on to the next level. Look under wheels. What does that mean? Here, let's just do a basic design and see what happens. Okay, obviously that's not great for business, but hey. It worked. Let's circle. This one is interesting because I imagine that gear uh, rotates. Those little triangles in front of the gear. Do you think we hit those and kind of like launch off of them? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's see. Just just draw like that. Something, something low to the ground. Okay, no, those don't interact with me at all. Oh my gosh. Dude, relax. That was exactly how I drew that up. So based on the previous level, when our vehicle hits the gear, it kind of goes places. Can we use that to get on top of that platform with the glowing thing? I don't think so. But what if, okay, hear me out. What if you design a vehicle that like almost like reaches up and over? Oh my gosh, that could actually work. I think, hold on. What if you do something like that? <laughs> that is so dumb. It falls over a little bit too fast, but <laughs> it's really funny. Hold on, we, we gotta try this. Maybe if I start back here and then just draw all the way across. No, that's stupid. How would that work? <laughs> that's not gonna work at all. I gotta know though, like, is there a way to make this work? I don't think there's a way to make this work. What if you just draw it like straight? What? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. It's not working. Clearly. It's not working at all. Now the wheel that's supposed to be in the back is in the front. And now we're stuck on the gear. Okay. This game is wild. I love it. What is that orange block? Let's find out. Just draw a little car. Okay, the orange block is movable. And <laughs> I can't believe that little car worked. That's incredible. Okay, so we're learning new things. Now there's a yellow block, which I assume also can be moved. So I think what I'm gonna do is design something that is good for pushing. It's a, it's a pushing mobile. Yeah, no, yes, maybe. No, 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 no. Hmm. <laughs> That's not gonna work. What if we get real crazy? Okay, I'm gonna try something stupid, but it'll look real, real funny. Yeah, that's right. I drew a shark car, kind of. It doesn't really look like anything, but it totally worked. More shark cars. Okay, something tells me that this like gray part is gonna slam shut because it's called the door, but I was kind of thinking what kind of stupid design could we implement this time? How about this? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try my best. The problem is, is that you can't connect the uh, the vehicle. So, so you're kind of trying to do like half of a vehicle, but you guys can see kind of what I, I drew. 
it's a rocket. It kind of looks like my shark. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and it's just gonna get stuck. We've done it. Okay, you can see the gray block is actually kind of shifting around. So maybe there's something that we can do to, to get that out of the way. I'm just gonna do like that. I don't know why I gave it a mouth, but yeah, there you go. Okay, just no, don't, no, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't go in the hole. Not, okay, yeah, you're doing a great, look at you. Look at you. I should be a car designer. I, I can't believe we actually made it, but then we fell down the hole. Nobody has to see that. Mission accomplished. Okay, this level looks ridiculous, which means it needs a ridiculous solution. If you're designing a car to go fast, you must implement the fastest things that you are familiar with. What's the fastest thing that I'm familiar with? Prepare yourselves. We're gonna do two little spikes like this. Okay, okay, do, do you guys recognize where this is going yet? This is an ear for the record. And then this right here is a little nose and then it comes down and you kind of got like a little mouth. That's right. It's the fastest being known to mankind. Sonic the Hedgehog. I made a Sonic the Hedgehog car that got it done. Beautiful. Man, that was really bad. But it worked. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Ooh, this is a tricky one. We need Sonic. I'm gonna draw another Sonic, but worse. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, Sonic, what have you done? Oh, he's like, <laughs> It's so bad. Can he do it? Oh, he got the speed boost and then immediately just jumped to his demise. All right. Good job, Sonic. Actually, we need a new hero and his name is Charlie. I don't think I can draw Charlie and me on the same car, but I can certainly try drawing Charlie as a car, spider car. And by the way, real quick, uh, these two plushies are exclusively available on the Power Up Club. This is my brand new subscription box that also comes with a series of books. If you guys want more details, head over to kindlykeen.shop. Very excited about this. But Super Charlie is gonna be my reference for this insane vehicle that we're gonna try to draw. All right, Super Charlie. Oh, what am I doing? Now, so that's the thing. Keep in mind that I can't pick my finger up. It has to stay connected to the screen at all times. So that's why Charlie's legs are kind of big. But I mean, that that kind of looks like a, a spider. See, it's it's Charlie. Oh, Charlie, you just need, oh, go, go buddy, fight. Charlie, <laughs> not gonna make it, man. Okay, but we can make this work. We can absolutely make this work. That was just a test run. So I think that I just need to make him a little bit more compact, right? And then maybe we give him like little little fangs. They kind of look like ears. Now he's starting to look like a bat, but those are his fangs, okay? Cause he's a spider. And then, and then there's your front leg. I don't, I don't know what I've created. The first one looked more like a spider, but I mean, that's a win. Good job, Super Charlie. What is going on here? Oh my, um, okay. Let's just try a, a simple design, that, and let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, no, that actually worked out fantastic. We got gold, the air door. I don't quite understand what that means, but I had a very dumb idea for a car that we should draw. Let's see if I can pull this off. You might already have a, a decent idea, although drawing his face is gonna be really hard. Like, how do I, how do I draw a, a face without ever taking my finger off of the, the screen? How do you do that? What is this even? What have I created? This is supposed to be Huggy Wuggy. And it is far worse than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that worked. It almost kind of worked. Maybe we start with the face. Yeah, you know what? No, we can't start with the face because... Wherever you start is where the first wheel gets put on your car. So we actually need it to be the bottom of his head. 
And then, you know, you have like his little fuzzy head. And then you just do something like that. And then what we need to do is go from here and start drawing his face. <laughs> this is supposed to be his eyes and his mouth. And then you just go from his mouth and you do something like that because he's kind of like drooling. <laughs> this is so dumb. And it's not working at all because it's way too big, but it is pretty funny. All right, enough Huggy Wuggy vehicles. Let's just draw something like this. This is probably all I need. Maybe. Yeah. Ah, that didn't work. Okay, fair enough. What if I draw something that kind of like goes up like that? And then my hope is that once we hit the, the spinning thing, it'll kind of like launch us to the speed boost. And it did not work at all. I look like a turtle stuck on their back. I think I need to keep like a really low profile on the car. Keep it small so that you can kind of jump across the gap. There, there you go. Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. Of course, our rating was sad. Fair enough. Ooh. The spit. Is that supposed to say split? Because we're going to go right in between the two gears. This is going to be an interesting one. I feel like if I just draw like a like a thorn, just like a, a torpedo. Th no, that was a terrible plan. What? No. What are you thinking? Because remember, where you start is where the first wheel is. Where you end is where the second wheel is, which I always forget and end up making... Very dumb vehicles. Oh no, the back of the car is is too big. It doesn't fit. Oh my gosh. We need Sonic. I'm drawing another Sonic car. Somehow the Sonic car continues to work, even though it looks so bad. Oh gosh, what did I do? I gotta I gotta give you a nose. Yeah, I'm Sonic. Okay, here he goes. He's doing it. He's doing it. The dream nailed it. I knew Sonic was the answer to our problems. Okay, no more Sonic. It's not working. I can't help myself. Keep going, bud. There you go. There you go. Oh, we almost got the speed boost. Moon Bridge. That sounds awesome. Let's draw a new stupid character. Car. All right, you guys ready for this one? This is this is the true hero that we've we've always needed. I'm just using a little reference picture that honestly is not helping at all. Okay, yeah. And then we go like that. Uh-huh. You, you guys see it? You see it yet? You see it? Are you seeing it? Because cause I'm kind of seeing it. She's got big smiles. She's big, happy, happy pig that doesn't have eyes. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Apparently, Peppa Pig wears glasses now. Um, yeah, there you go. It's, uh, that's Peppa Pig. Yep. I know. I know. I, I'm... Why can I say I'm incredibly talented? The Peppa Pig vehicle has been the most successful car that we have created. <laughs> Somehow, we've escaped the moon bridge and we got the speed boost and we got a gold medal. The escape. Ooh. Okay, I'm drawing a torpedo. Straight up. I messed it up. Try that again. So you gotta start here. And you see, this is like the fire coming out of the back. And you go like that. And, okay, okay, you do something like that, maybe. Maybe maybe we can actually connect the dots here, and then you gotta draw the, the fins. Of course, you don't want them to go too low because then you're gonna mess up your wheels. And then this is the front of the, the torpedo, and oh, yeah, see? That's the part where I messed up the wheels. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that, and then I immediately did it, okay. Let's see if I can do a little bit better this time. Possibly. I'm trying to keep it symmetrical too. Okay. And then we just need the warhead. And then I need like something to come down just so that it has wheels. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we actually successfully drew something that doesn't look absolutely terrible. And it worked. Now I will say my rating is sad, but I'll take it. We still want <laughs> little rotating. You know what it means to me? It means a bunch of squigglies. There you go. The squiggly mobile. You can do it. You can do it, squiggly mobile. Look at that jump. Incredible. I kind of want to do that again, but better squigglies. Let's, let's squiggle this up. 
There you go. Now that's a good look. At, it looks like a telephone cord. Does anybody have telephone cords anymore? Probably not. And we're about to fall off. Wait. Wait. No, we're... Whoa! <laughs> How did that even work? Doesn't matter. That's a gold. Oh. That's a lot of blocks that are going to just completely collapse underneath our car. What do we draw? I have an idea. And it's a bad one. I'm running out of ink, but what I'm trying to draw is a SpongeBob car. See, he's got his square pants and the little tie that he has. The problem is, is that the wheel that the, the, I can't believe it worked, but the first wheel wasn't even touching the ground. Unbelievable. Okay, well, if SpongeBob worked, we gotta try Patrick. But I don't think this is the level for Patrick. This seems like a level for like a sleek, kind of low profile car, you know? But let's give Patrick a chance. Patrick Star. I'm, I mean, I'm just drawing a star like a weird blobby type star. Cause you know, that's what Patrick is. I need to make sure that the wheels land in a spot that is appropriate for him to move. So I gotta let go there. Okay, we actually made a vehicle that has wheels on the bottom of it. That's a win. Now, does it look like Patrick star? That's a stretch. I'm gonna say 100% yes. Obviously it didn't work on this level, so let's just try something boring and lame. See what happens. Yeah, we win, but at what cost? Next level, please. Dude, Pharaoh's Pyramid? Why is it spelt like that? Isn't there a Y in pyramids? Anyways, Pharaoh's Pyramid is going down Patrick Star style. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna try to do a slightly better version of Patrick. Let's not expect too much. So remember, we need to start at the bottom of our of our Patrick. Okay, so he's got like little stubby legs. And he's kind of got, you know, a, a, a bit of a belly. I'm using a reference this time. And then there's his arm. <laughs> it's way too long. Uh, here's his head. And then here's arm number two. He's so happy. You gotta give him a little belly. And then leg number two. And then let's try to give him some shorts. You know, he's got those classic green and purple Hawaiian board shorts. We'll try to draw like little flowers. I feel like I'm kind of messing it up. And then we need to get back to the bottom of his foot. Boom. Patrick Star. I mean, if you're gonna draw a Patrick Star in a video game that gives you the limited supplies that you have. I gotta say, that's a pretty good Patrick <laughs> I can't believe we pulled it off. Mission accomplished. What I say at the outset of this video, let's draw some insanely stupid cars. I think we accomplished that.